السلام علیکم بیوٹیفل پیپل اف دا ایگزامینر ول آسک یو رائٹ این ایسے آن فائلم پلیٹی ہیلمن تھیز دن ہاو ٹو رائٹ اٹ پلیٹی مینز فلیٹ اینڈ ہیلمن مینز ورمز یو کیریوٹک ملٹی سیلر میکروسکوپک اے سیلومیٹ اے سیلومیٹ مینز دیر از نو سیلوم ان دم ٹرپلو بلاسٹک ٹیشو گریٹ ڈورسو ونٹرلی فلیٹنڈ سافٹ thin bodied bilateral symmetrical invertebrate animals that are mostly unsegmented except cystoda and parasite few free living or common cell that means that are living in common cellism clear taxonomic position the flatworms are considered to be phylum of the kingdom annelida oh sorry animalia Phylum plate helminth is further divided into following classes on the basis of body shapes mouth position and habitat class turbularia class trematoda class cystoda class mongonia or monogonia monogonia <coughs> turbularia a little string trematodes having pores keto gridel eats form Single definite host are monogenia. Unique features. Triploblastic acylomate body has soft covering with or without cilia. Body is also ventally flattened. Uh, Rhabdite cells. Cephalization. Eye spot surrounded by ganglion. Presence of flame cells. Prehensile pharynx. Heavily branched intestine. Ladder-like nervous system. Presence of parenchyma. self fertilization and oblique muscles parasitic adaptations found in plate helminths organs of attachment hooks spines opisthopter and suckers and adhesive secretions shape body unsegmented dorsal ventrally flattened comparatively large size increased egg production endoparasite there is often reduction in the CNS and sense organs, tremendous elaboration of the reproductive organs associated with increased gamete production. Their body is covered with a tough cuticle. This prevents the parasitic worms from being digested. Development direct in ectoparasites or indirect in endoparasites with alternation of hosts. Polyembryony. lack of uh, unnecessary systems lack of locomotory organs very large surface area for absorption of nutrients characteristics cellular level of organization and germ layers possessing of cell and tissue true tissues flatworms have three embryonic tissue layers that give rise to surfaces that cover tissues from ectoderm internal tissues from mesoderm and line the digestive system from endoderm ectoderm epidermis mesoderm parenchyma and endoderm gastrodermis body wall the body surface is covered by a layer of mucus that is a carbohydrate complex or glycocalyx space between body wall and internal organ is filled up with parenchyma epidermis free living form have single layer of ciliated cells parasitic forms have synchytial layer that lacks cilia covered with cuticle rod shaped rhabditis which are found in the epidermal cells or below the epidermis are characteristics of plate helminths clear interval areas beneath the epidermis Lamellated basal membrane, club-shaped mesenchymal gland cells produce a slimy material upon which the organisms creep and adhesive glands secrete an adhesive substances for the capture of prey, for adhesion and for cementing egg capsules. Okay, next is sub-epidermal layer that is muscle layer. Commonly, two layers around the body walls are present. Circular muscle and longitudinal muscles. In addition, parenchymal muscles or 
oblique fibers are present thick muscle layer in pharynx feeding tube make it prehensile diagram is given here body forms and size their body generally shapes as a worm but varies from moderately elongated flattened to long ribbon like and leaf like dorsal ventrally flattened that is well developed vert ventral surface with mouth they are small to moderate in size varying from microscopic to extremely elongated from measuring up to 10 to 15 meters okay their body is unsegmented except in class cystoda their interior end of the body is differentiated into the head color the platyhelminthes is in general are colorless or white in color free living forms are white brown gray or black in color some marine and land planarians are with bright colors arranged in patterns habitat the platyhelminthes are mostly ecto or endoparasitic free or few living free living one belongs to the class terbolaria and live in fresh water ponds lakes streams and springs marine land trematoda monogenia and cystoda are total parasites in adult stage the parasitic vertebrates and in larval stages they occur in parasites of the intervertebrate animals invertebrate animals clear symmetry they are bilaterally symmetrical with the definite polarity of head and tail ends body cavity they are acellulate that is without any body cavity space between various organs filled with special mesodermal tissues the parenchyma skeleton exo and endoskeleton are completely absent hence the body is generally soft the hard part consists of cuticle spines thorns hooks and teats despite this they still possess a hydrostatic skeleton at certain extent muscular system flatworms possess an elaborate muscular system consisting of longitudinal circular and oblique fibers locomotion assisted by muscular contractions in larger forms what about locomotion platyhelminthes use one of two methods of movement either they beat epidermal cilia to move along the surface by slime trails by the beating of epidermal cilia or they use a series of muscles to twist and turn their body for forward movements movements in some flatworms is controlled by longitudinal circular and oblique layer of muscles the development of directional movement is correlated with cephalization what about the feeding and digestion free living forms are mainly carnivores that is they feed on other animals insects incomplete digestive tract in most in some digestive tract is sac like or highly branched or sub branching nature of distribute food throughout the animal some parasites eg tapeworm completely lack a digestive system interval area and trematoda alimentary system is represented by mouth pharynx and intestine which ends blindly some species also have an anal opening the mouth is also used to expel waste material from the digestive system the pharynx is stomatium in nature and it's a strong muscular tube secretes enzymes to partially digested food before eating then sucks in liquefied food digestion is extracellular with digested uh, material taken into the cell of the gut lining by phagocytosis means it takes the solid food inside the body in diagram all its structure is mentioned respiration flatworms that absorb oxygen directly through the skin into their body cells 
दिस मैकेनिज्म इज नोन एज क्यूटनेस रेस्पिरेशन स्किन ब्रीदिंग और डिफ्यूजन द फ्लैट शेप ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनिज्म इंक्रीज द सर्फिस एरिया फॉर डिफ्यूजन इंश्योरिंग दैट ईच सेल विद इन द बॉडी इज क्लोज टू द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन सर्फिस एंड हैज एक्सेस टू ऑक्सीजन एक्सक्रीशन सम वेस्ट लाइक अमोनिया आर एलिमिनेटेड बाय डिफ्यूजन अदर्स आर प्रिमिटिव एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम विद अ नेटवर्क ऑफ ट्यूब्यूल थ्रोअर द बॉडी विल विद ओपनिंग्स टू द एनवायरमेंट एंड नियर बाय फ्लेम सेल्स हु सीलिया बीड्स टू डायरेक्ट वेस्ट फ्लूड्स कंसेंट्रेटेड इन द ट्यूब्यूल्स आउट ऑफ द बॉडी The excretory system includes a lateral canal and a single or pair of photo protoreceptors or protonephridia with flame cells or bulbs. Absent in some primitive form, the system is responsible for the regulation of dissolved salts and the excretion of nitrogenous waste. Its excretory system is drawn in the diagram. Nervous system and senses. Beginning of cephalization. at least some members have distinct head head with cephalic ganglia head with sense organs two eye spots ocelli can't form image only detect light auricles auricles are lateral flaps near the interior of the animal contain tactile cells also contain chemoreceptors some table area have stethoscopes for detecting gravity some can also detect direction of water current chemo and tango receptors commonly in the form of ciliated pits and grooves the nervous system is primitive and ladder like the main nervous system consists of a pair of ganglia or brain and pairs of longitudinal nerve cords connected by ladder like transverse nerves the nervous system consists of a pair of nerve cords running the length of the body with connections between them and large ganglia on concentration of nerves at the anterior end of the worm where they may also be concentration of photosensory and chemosensory cells connected by a ladder like interconnections circulatory system there is no circulatory system oxygen entering and carbon dioxide leaving the planarian body diffuses through the body wall asmo regulation a flame cell is specialized excretory cell found in the simplest fresh water invertebrates such as flatworms the function of these cell is to regulate the osmotic pressure and maintains ionic balance reproduction they are mostly monoecious that is hermaphrodite their reproductive system is highly evolved or complex in most of the forms Platy helminth teeth are able to reproduce asexually and sexually but sexual reproduction is preferable parasitic platy helminth teeth deposit their eggs in their host or both themselves into the host asexual by fission regeneration budding or parthenogenesis and polyembryony sexual almost all flatworms are monoecious cross fertilization some with internal fertilization some marine species produce planula like larva ciliated wall of cells class of platyhelminth is class tubularia and their characteristics class trematoda and their characteristics class cystoda and their characteristics class monogenia and their characteristics move towards the importance of platyhelminth is parasitic uh, parasitizes humans domestic animals causing diseases flatworms are very good decomposers they increase the chances for organic farming they are also consumers of protozoans rotifers and algae and help to regulate the population of these organism pest control agents control population of the giant african snail helminth therapy that help in weight loss A flame cell is a specialized excretory cell found in the simplest fresh worm invertebrate including flatworms flame cells function like a kidney removing waste material bundles of flame cells are called protonephridia a flame cell is a type of cell which is shaped basically like a cup with cilia or hair like structures which keep beating inside the 
cup. The function is to create a current of fluid which will sweep away the nitrogenous waste away from the body to an opening of duct. It is the simplest form of cell dedicated to excretion of waste. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay motivated. God bless you. Allah Hafiz.